installed in a former chapel. Mare Nostrum is Spain's most powerful computer. It has almost 50,000 microprocessors capable of doing more than 1,100 trillion calculations a second. And it's this massive number crunching capacity that makes it so useful to researchers. We can use this computer just to run programs that simulate the target the scientific would like to know. So the supercomputers are the third pillar for the advance of science and engineering. Theory, labs, supercomputer. But supercomputers are expensive. This one uses around $2 million worth of electricity each year and needs updating every three years. They've just spent $25 million on an upgrade, but this is not the world's fastest supercomputer. There's one in China, 20 times the speed. It is one of the fastest in Europe, and according to its creators, one of the most beautiful. Supercomputers allow engineers to pre-test aircraft designs and try out different engines even before they exist in the real world. The computing power has also been put to use modelling the Earth's climate, calculations which frequently involve hundreds of millions of variables. The human body too has been a major focus, with one project working on a simulation of the human heart. We are able to simulate how an uh, electrical impulse is propagated in the heart, in the muscle. Then uh, this information can be used for therapies like the implantation of a pacemaker or for other therapies, for example with drugs. Researchers have also been analysing the genetic sequences of tens of thousands of cancers. Understanding what's going wrong inside a cancerous cell, they hope will lead to more personalised diagnosis and treatment. Sequencing is very cheap. All the groups can sequence their genomes and hundreds and thousands of patients. But then you need computer, a big computer and complex protocols to analyse these genomes. And this is where computational science, computing science, is becoming a crucial part of the study of uh, disease in general, in this case in cancer. The Barcelona supercomputer is part of a European network of similar machines that has already changed the way research and product development is done. With each new and more powerful upgrade comes the increasing potential for supercomputers to shape and create our future. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Barcelona.